Hey everyone, how are you doing well? I see that the Pope is meddling in politics again on his latest trip. Stay out of politics. Religion should have nothing to do with politics. Having said that, do you think we're getting time, we're getting nearer the time to when the beast will turn on the harlot? So the beast being the political powers will come to the conclusion that it doesn't have any need for religion and so it will want rid of it. Now whether this is something that they're just going to do without any prompting, I don't know. I feel as if they're going to have to be prompted to do it. Some There's going to have to be some motivational force that is going to push the political powers to devastate religion. Babylon, the great harlot, who sits on the back of the beast in a prostitute way, because that's what she is. She prostituted herself all the way through every world power. You will see how religion has had a controlling say on what happens in every world power, you'll see this. All films bring it out. You'll see, that, you know, back in the middle medieval times, you'll see that the uh, Catholic priest were dictating to the kings of that time. So it's not as if she hasn't always had a controlling influence in all political affairs. And I'm pretty sure that the Vatican had some controlling influence over the last election in some way. I just don't know exactly how, but I'm sure that with them being socialist, which they are, the Vatican are absolutely socialist. That's why they had a soft spot for Hitler's party, because they were socialist. And I suppose... They will do the same again. They will want to have some kind of say in who is going to be the next president of the United States. That's just how they are. But will it come as a shock to you when the beast turns on her and starts to eat up all her fleshy bits, take away a stripper of all her wealth, leave her bare, naked, realizing that uh, oh she was useful for a time she served her purpose now so mm, i ain't gonna shed that many tears over and now she's gone i think that's what we're gonna see i think this is coming this is all part of the last days isn't it you know we're obviously we're living in revelation now so we are gonna see this But will it be God that decides that she's going? Or will it be something that man does of his own volition? Because there's going to be a lot of um, importance on eventually unveiling who is special and who is not. And so... If we're getting closer to that appointed time, would it not be an ideal opportunity to lay bare who is the falsity, who has always been the falsity, so that the pure of heart can eventually be seen for what they are, um, lovers of uh, God. And uh, once she's gone, once the harlot is gone, the rich merchants that used her, you know, let's face it, they did. They used religion. A lot of the uh, wealthy aristocrats throughout history, they've used that religion to further their careers. So they won't be doing that again because she will be out of the picture, completely gone. It's safe to say that you won't miss her either 
you won't miss it because you know too much about it. You know, you're very wise. You're very clued up. You know what you're doing. And you won't shed a tear when she's gone. Only very few will. But you won't because you're wide awake. And you'll see her for what she is. The prostitute. The great harlot. Who tried to manipulate every king, every power, every political force. She's tried to manipulate them all in some way. And so the Pope's recent visit, is it one of political ambition so that he can influence? And what will he do come the November election? What will the Pope do? Will he show his true colors and come out as a full blown socialist? I think he will. I don't think he'll be able to help himself.